Greetings Lucky Legends, my name is Lucky, this is Lucky Lad TV. I'm your host for this video, and it's time for the return of Lucky Analytics. This time it's going to be a live team building episode. It's probably going to be somewhat long. The reason being, I want to take you guys through every last step of my team building process. I pride myself on my team building skills as you saw yesterday. Uh, that's one of the things that Miguel and I were talking about is how we really pride ourselves on our team building skills and this is going to be the OU bulky method Lucky Analytics live team building OU bulky method and I already know exactly what mon I'm starting off with and that is Mega Sableye the reason being I want the magic bounce magic bounce is a great hazards deterrent I'm going to have a rapid spinner on here as well. I don't know which Pokemon it's going to be, but this works as a great hazard deterrent. I'm going to name it Kryptonite because it it can really cripple your opponent's team, and when it's you know shiny, it's green like Kryptonite. It of course gets the Sableye, Magic Bounce, and I want it to have Recover. I don't know what other moves I want it to have. I don't know if I want it to be physical or special. I don't know what its nature is going to be or anything like that. The only thing I do know is that I want it to have max HP, which means 252 into its HP stat. Mega Sableye is only weak to Fairy. It's the only thing it's weak to. That said, my first instinct was Heatran. Because I try and plan these out in my head a little bit ahead of time. But as you see right here... Well, not right here. It, there are two fairy, three fairy type moves you actually have to worry about. Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, and Play Rough. Moonblast and Dazzling Gleam is a toss-up. There's also Hyper Voice from Pokemon with Pixelate. That's another big issue. So, I was trying to find a Mon that double resists fairy. Because I wanted to be able to eat up... I wanted a neutrally bulky mon actually to couple with Mega Sableye, so I thought Heatran with max HP. However, Heatran can't handle Azumarill. Azumarill Waterfall will one-shot a Heatran, and Heatran can't one-shot Azumarill before it has the chance to do that. Heatran just does, it doesn't hit hard enough. Let me rephrase that. It doesn't have a super effective move to hit back with. <laughs> So instead, I'm going to have to build a three-part core. Kryptonite being the primary part of the core, and the other two following suit. As you know, Dan, aka A-Drive, he has a chancy Kryptonite core. It works really well. I don't want to copy that. I could, but I don't. I don't want to. It's just me, personally. I don't want to. So instead, we need to find something that can eat up fairy type moves and the good thing about the bulky method is that you can kind of segment stuff you, it, you don't have to have a physically bulky mon and then a specially bulky mon you can have a mon that's sort of neutrally bulky with some physical investment and then a neutrally bulky mon with some special investment or you can just go with a mon with some nice natural bulk to it and for me I need something that can eat up special fairy type attacks and then I'm gonna take a different mon that can eat up physical fairy type attacks but I need those two mons together to sort of complement one another so in order to eat up a fairy type attack you need to be fairy wait does fairy even resist fairy I don't know I'm gonna have to look that up right now and I'm recording, the same tab is recording, everything's recording the same, so you guys can't see this, but I need to pull up a type chart. So that I don't sound like a dumbass. Well, let me rephrase that. So I don't sound like more of a dumbass. Fairy is resisted by steel, poison, and fire. So. I could actually go all the way down to NU and bring Weezing up here. Weezing's an amazing physical wall. It's only weak to Psychic, which Kryptonite is immune to. However, Weezing can't take special hits that well. That's the only real downside to it. 
So as we keep looking through here, we can look for steel types, we can look for poison types. Right now I'm going to look for steel types, see what we have up here. Like I said, this video is probably going to be pretty long because there's a lot of things we have to take into account. Empoleon is decent, not really what I'm looking for. Excadrill, we... Excadrill is kind of like too good. It, it fills roles too well, but it's not... It's bulky, but it's not super bulky. It's not really what I'm looking for. Heatran, as I said before, cannot take a play rough. At all. Sorry, it can take a play rough. It cannot take any water type attacks. It will die to water type attacks. So what I'm actually thinking right now, as I'm looking at it, is I could go with a Jirachi. Jirachi can eat up a play rough, it can eat up a Moonblast. And it can hit back really hard with an Iron Head with a very high chance to flinch. However, the whole wheezing idea, I'm still a big fan of. I'm gonna bring up the wheezing. I'm gonna bring wheezing all the way up from NU. It makes a fantastic physical wall. I'm gonna bring it down to level 50. I'm gonna make it male. I'm gonna name it Poison Boy. P-O-I-S-O-N. Poison Boy. It's not gonna be... It's gonna have the Black Sludge for recovery purposes. And I'm gonna give it 244 with an impish... Sorry, a bold nature. And then I'm just gonna go with the 444. I'm going to give it Pain Split, Will O Wisp. I know it gets Will O Wisp. I'm gonna give it Sludge Bomb. Good stab attack. And his last move is very much up so very much so up for debate. There's really no clear cut option. It doesn't get a recovery move where I would give it that. To the same extent, it's not that great of an attacker. It, it doesn't do that much damage. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to give it just the Toxic. But it already has the Will-O-Wisp. Doesn't really work. I'm gonna give it the Flamethrower. We may... Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna leave this slot empty. I'm gonna leave it empty for now, and just like I have all these empty slots on Kryptonite, I don't know what type of Kryptonite it's gonna be. But now we have our Weezing. Weezing's weak to Psychic, which Kryptonite is immune to. Kryptonite is weak to Fairy, which Poison Boy resists. Now we need a Pokemon that resists special Fairy type moves and can eat those up. Steel or Fire types is where we're looking now. Definitely a Steel type, because we have a ground immunity in Poison Boy. We have a fighting immunity in Kryptonite. So especially defensive steel type. Empoleon's actually looking kinda nice now that we're kinda back to where we were. I'm gonna turn my fan off because it's actually not too hot right now. Especially defensive steel type. We, like I said, we can always go with the Heatran, but I don't really think it's necessary. Jirachi is weak to Ghost and Dark. I don't want, I don't want any of that. Magnuson is double weak to the ground, and we have the immunity. And other than that, it's weak to Fighting, Fire, and Fighting and Fire is actually it. The Fire immunity is bothering me. I'm really thinking the Empoleon. It's weak to electric, fighting, ground, and that's it. Electric, fighting, and ground. Fighting, we have an immunity and a resistance. Electric, we don't have yet. And ground, we have an immunity. So I'm gonna go with the Empoleon. We'll get a ground type in here to deal with that. I'm going to bring it down to level 50. I'm going to make it male. I'm going to name you Poseidon. Sorry, dude. 
you're going to have the leftovers with Torrent, Scald, Stealth Rock, Flash Cannon, and again, I'm going to leave that last slot blank, give you 252 and 252 in Special Defense, give you four here in Special Attack. I don't think you learned Roost. Yeah, that would be kind of ridiculous if you learned Roost. Just because of how few weaknesses you already have. Alright, so this is what we're going to stick with for now. And the electric weakness that Empoleon has, we need a ground type. And the ice weakness, we don't have an issue with, we have Poseidon. The grass weakness, we don't have an issue with, we have Poison Boy. And the water weakness, we don't have an issue with, we have Poseidon. So a pure ground type will work just fine. We can handle it perfectly well. That said, I don't know if we're going to be going with a pure ground type, simply because they're not that common. There aren't that many of them. We do need a rapid spinner though, and Dawn Fan would actually do the job really well. Dawn Fan's actually looking really nice. We could go with the Lando T, however, it doesn't it doesn't rapid spin. And it doesn't really do what we need it to. Marowak we could bring up, but that's No, I'm very much liking the idea of the Dawn Fan, because it also gives us access to knockoff. And Ice Shard, which is some good priority. Especially up in OU when you have Dragon and Ground types and Dragon and Flying types running amok. I'm going to name you... What am I going to name you? I'm going to name you Zanzibar. No. I'm going to name you... What do I rock on rock the Dawn Fan? Rock on rock. Yeah, that's 12 letters. I want to make sure that it fit. I'm going to make you male. I'm going to give you the Assault Vest. I'm going to give you Rapid Spin. Earthquake. I'm going to give you Knock Off. And I'm going to give you Ice Shard. That is perfectly good enough for me. This will bring you up to 120. I would like to have you be a little bit fatter than that, but I'm not really worried about it. The Assault Vest will really help you take any, you know, random special hits. Other than that, I do want you to be max attack. Wrong way. Minus there, and then, you know, four unnecessary in speed. Now speed an uninvested Dom fan if we run into one. And one of the things that you can notice right now is that we actually only have one OU Mon on this team. We have one OU, two UU, and one NU. And... Also, as of now, all of our weaknesses are covered. We have Kryptonite with the fairy weakness that is double taken care of. We have Poison Boy, only weak to Psychic, Kryptonite's immune. We have Poseidon, weak to Ground, Poison Boy's immune. Weak to Electric, Dawn Fan is immune. And weak to Fighting, Kryptonite is immune. And then we have Dawn Fan, weak to Ice, Poseidon double resists. This week to Grass, Poison Boy Resist, I, although I do want another Grass Resistance in there for the superiors because Poison Boy cannot take a plus six Leaf Storm, I'm sure it'll go down. And week to Water, which Poseidon Resists, which, and that one I'm good with. But I do want another Grass Resistance in here. And now that the team has is starting to take shape, I know that I want Kryptonite to be physically offensive. I don't know to what extent. I want it to have the Shadow Sneak. I want it to have the Sucker Punch. And its last move... You get Moonlight. Pretty interesting. Not, you know, useful, but it's interesting. We do have Power Jam. So now I'm really liking the idea of you being special. Because I love Power Jam. It's my favorite rock type move ever. So I'm actually going to get rid of this stuff, and I'm going to go back. Well, let's see what our grass resistance is going to be. That means probably a fire type, maybe? No, that's another ground weakness. What else was this grass? 
Grass resists grass. Grass has way too many weaknesses, though. Flying, bug, dragon, and steel. Dragon can work. A dragon type can work. A nice, nice, a chunky dragon type. Not super duper fat, but, you know, good bulk. Something that's got good bulk to it. And as we look through all of this, see Gudra. Gudra has great bulk. Its physical defense is garbage, but you can invest into that and it'll take it for days. It And it's also, it's grass immune. It's another ice weakness. I'm not a big fan of it. It's another fairy weakness, but I'm not worried about that one. And then it's a dragon resist um, weakness, but I'm not worried about that either. So, Gudra could definitely work. Gudra could definitely work. We would just need another ice resistance on here. And what resists ice? Ice is resisted by fire, water. This is by ice and steel. So a fire type is actually looking pretty necessary. Preferably one that's not weak to ground, though. That's an issue that we're having. Rotom Heat. That would work. It's only weak to water. And rock. That could work. That could definitely work. I'm really liking that idea. Town Flame as well, but it's double weak to rock. Which, ugh, not a fan of that. I'm really liking the idea of the Rotom Heat. I'm gonna bring the Rotom Heat, because it gives us also really nice switch initiative. I'm gonna bring down level 50. I'm going to name you... Um, I'm just gonna name you... GBL... GBL Cookies. Okay, it fits. I, I had to make sure it fits. I always do that in my head. And item, Citrus Berry. All the way. Levitate, you're going to have... The Volt Switch. You have the Overheat, obviously. You're going to have... I'm gonna make you special. I'm gonna make you special with the Power Jam. Power Jam, Shadow Ball, and Dark Pulse. Shadow Ball, Dark Pulse. Okay, I'm gonna do its EV spread last. It's gonna be the last one that we do. So GBL Cookies with Volt Switch Overheat. I'm not too worried about you having Thunderbolt. Maybe not. Signal Beam would be nice for coverage. Because I think we can get that Gudra in here now. Although we don't need to. We have a Rock Weakness, which we're actually fine with. But it's a Water Weakness. A Water Weakness that I definitely need to take care of. But I do think we can get that Gudra in here now, which I'm really liking the idea of. Because Gudra is very bulky, and it would give us that Grass Immunity. Uh, we don't really have a grass issue right now, but it would be nice to have. Especially with stuff like Breloom walking around. I don't like Breloom. Which actually makes me think. Nah, we're, f no, we're good this way. Because we have the magic bounce on the Kryptonite. But Volt Switch Overheat, I'm also going to give you the Signal Beam, like I just said. And then I think I'm going to go with the Toxic on you. I'm going to give you the Toxic. And you're going to be max HP, max speed. Because I do want you to outspeed things pretty easily. You're done. You are not done. You need another move. And I'm going to go with... 
I think I'm just gonna go with Ice Beam for you. Simple, easy. Done deal. You, you're getting the Flamethrower. Because Gudra can carry the Thunderbolt. And you, you are going to have, I think it's 40 points? No, it's 60. 60, 8, 9, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 76 points in special defense, just so it's, you know, bulky down the middle. And then 180 in special attack. Yeah, why not? It, it doesn't need its physical attack anyway. GBL cookie, and then we can get our Gudra up in here with the grass immunity. And we have our dragon resistance right here. I'm not really worried about dragon resistances. We're gonna get Gudra in here. That's gonna be our last mom. This is primarily a UU team with the exception of Kryptonite. However, Kryptonite is the crucial part of this team. I'm going to name you Squishy. I'm going to make you female. I'm going to give you... Well, you have Sap Sipper. So you don't need the safety goggles. Because you're immune to Spore. You are going to be max physical defense, though. That is important to me. And you are going to be... Special, special, special. You'd actually be physical, which I'm not a fan of. Because you don't learn good physical moves. So I'm actually going to get rid of Gudra. We're not going to be using Gudra. And we do need a water resist, though. And water is resisted by grass, dragon, and water. So grass or dragon. We need one of those on here. We could go with the Breloom ourselves, actually. It's double flying weakness, however, we do have two resistances. It's a psychic weakness, we have an immunity. And resistance. It's a fairy weakness. We have three resistances now. I think I'm gonna go with the Breloom. I think that'll do us just fine. A technician Breloom should do us just fine. Kinkelder would be nice too, but I do want that water resistance. So I'm going to go with the Breloom Technician. What am I going to give you? What item? I could give you... Huh. I think I'm going to give you the Toxic Ore. No, but then you lose the technician boost. No, I'm just gonna give you... I'm gonna give you the expert belt. Let you hit a few things a little bit harder. Bring down a level 50. Make you male. Name you... Relax. 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 I'm gonna give you the mock punch. I'm going to give you... Other moves. <laughs> you do learn synthesis, which is kind of interesting. But I am going to give you the spore. I'm going to give you what was it, 72. Oh, that's not even close. Um, 200. That's too much. 180. That's also too much. 160. It's 159 the same. 54, 5, 6. 156 in special defense. I'm going to give you 252 here. And then 100 plus. Because Braylon's actually not that fast. And grass type moves. You get Bullet Seed or Seed Bomb. Bullet Seed's actually the better move. Believe it or not. And then you get... And this will help me paralyze some stuff as well. You get Horse Bomb. With Technician Boost, so it's 90 power. 
So that is going to be our team right here. It actually did not take as long as I thought I was going to. Yeah, not as long as I thought I was going to. We have Kryptonite. Kryptonite is our Mega Save Life. It's the star of our team. Recover, Power Gem, Shadow Ball, and Dark Pulse. Max HP, neutrally defensive. We have Poison Boy, our Weezing with the Black Sludge Levitate. It is Pain Split, Will O Wisp, Sludge Bomb, and Flamethrower, max HP, max physical defense. It is there to take primarily Azumarill, to be honest with you. That's the main reason. Poseidon is our Leftovers Torrent Empoleon. It's Scald, Stealth Rock, Flash Cannon, and Ice Beam. It is max special defense. It is there to take uh, Hyper Voice, Moonblast, Dazzling Wave. We have, oh no, I have five. Rock on Rock, our Don Fan, with the Assault Vest and Sturdy. It is a little bit more physically defensive than it is specially defensive. However, it's primarily there for attacking Rapid Spin, Earthquake, Knock Off, and Ice Shard. We have GBL Cookies with the Citrus Berry, Volt Switch, Overheat, Signal Beam, and Toxic. It is the fastest mom on our team, and I don't have an issue with that because we're we're a bulky team. That's the main purpose here. And then we have Relax, our expert belt Breloon, with Technician, Mock Punch, Spore, Bullet Seed, and I'm actually really thinking of getting rid of the Force Palm for something else. Something else that gives us a little bit better coverage. Because we actually have no fairy coverage on this team right now. Which is a problem if a Hydreigon wants to come up here. But we do have Mach Punch for that. And Force Bomb. Well, what other moves could you have? Because I'm personally content. Actually, no. I, I really like it the way that it is. Because a, an Expert Belt Mach Punch should be able to two-shot. Or maybe even one shot of Hydreigon. We're not going to outspeed it or anything, but it'll, it'll do what I need it to. So that's our team. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. It's very much greatly appreciated. But with that, I'm going to get about best luck out there. I will see you all soon. Goodbye.